What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about how you can get easy headshots in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now I've broken this video down into four components. We have your play style, game modes, attachments, and the settings that you can change to maximize the number of headshots that you're getting every single game. As always guys, before we jump into it, just make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video, subscribe and turn on the notifications. So the YouTube overlords, the YouTube algorithm knows that you enjoy my content and you wouldn't mind seeing more. So just for a little bit of context, I went into my settings and I figured out how many kills I have with guns and how many headshots I have amongst those kills and it turns out that I have 104 headshots across 442 kills which means my headshot ratio is about 24% so 24% of kills I get a headshot that's almost one in four so let's say you get 10 kills every single game that's between two and three headshots every single game however I've only recently started uh, using these tactics and I think you can easily double that amount every single game so you you can get up to maybe 50% of your kills are headshots just by implementing everything that we talk about in this video. So like I said, the first thing I want to talk about is your play style and how you are approaching headshots when it comes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, of course, the first method, the first thing that you have to do when you decide, okay, I want to go for headshots. If you think to yourself, I want to get more headshots in this game, there's going to have to be a trade-off. So the first thing you have to do is change your play style a little bit. Um, so aim at your enemies with the intention of getting a headshot and not getting a kill. So I know this sounds super simple, but uh, it's not really as intuitive as you think, because when you're playing a game like this, where the time to kill is super, super fast and you see somebody in the corner of your eye, you just snap on them. And the, the first thing that you do instinctively is try to kill them, right? That's the first thing that it's hard, hardwired into your brain. If you, if you've been playing call of duty for 10 years now, um, that's just built into your brain thinking, okay, snap onto target, kill target. Like that's what you do. Um, but if you want to get headshots more frequently, you kind of have to break that habit and you have to, when you go into a gunfight think let's get a headshot this gunfight and what that does is obviously if you get good at this um, you're going to be getting more headshots with every single kill that you get and what this entails is instead of aiming at the body you're aiming at the upper body head area of your enemies and what that means is as you're adjusting to uh, getting more headshots you're probably gonna get fewer kills for a couple of games obviously it's harder to shoot people in the upper body and head than it is to just put your bullets anywhere that they land on the enemy and that requires a little bit more accuracy a little bit better aim uh, so naturally as you're adapting to the things that we talk about in this video you may see that you get a fewer kills every single game however once you get good at this um, with the headshot multiplier in this game you're actually probably going to start to do a little bit better because as we're going to talk about later the headshot multiplier feels insane for some of these weapons uh, and and this is really only a temporary thing so as you're adjusting to shooting people in the head uh that's an, a very odd phrase. It's like I'm normalizing murder. Anyway, as you get used to going for headshots, you're going to get better at it. And you know, you shouldn't notice any decrease in number of kills every single game. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is playing slowly and defensively. So this is just a general tip for modern warfare, because it seems that most people are really struggling to rush in this game. Um, the maps are built in such a way where it really does favor playing a slow, more tactical, more defensive play style. Uh, and this really does help for getting headshots because if you're controlling a small area and you know the area really well and you know where the enemies are coming from then you really have a better idea of where you should be looking so that way you can be the one who shoots first and this is a big deal for headshots because if you run around a corner and both you and the enemy you know um, are gonna get into a fight and both of you start firing at the same time you're gonna be going for the head and they're gonna be going for the kill so they're probably gonna win most of those gunfights because they can they don't have that restriction so if you are playing more slowly and defensively patrolling an area and you're able to be the first one to shoot you know where you're in the position of you're looking at a specific area and somebody comes around the corner you're gonna catch them off guard and you'll have maybe a fraction of a second to register that okay let's shoot them in the head before you have to you know have just that 
instant habit of just going for a kill now another thing like i said the headshot multiplier in this game really is a big deal um it's it's you know make or break certain gunfights and a lot of times it feels a little bit cheesy because um you'll lose a gunfight that you feel like you might uh, should or should have won just because the recoil kicks up and the enemy got a lucky headshot but with that being said um it's actually easier to get headshots in this game because of that and if you guys didn't know the way that a headshot is calculated is it doesn't matter how many times you shoot an enemy the only thing that matters when it comes to counting as a headshot is the final bullet that kills the enemy being to their head uh and because that headshot multiplier is so powerful in this game it actually is going to uh, take less bullets to kill which means that you're more likely to get a headshot with the headshot multiplier being even higher in more simple terms what this means is in previous call of duties where if you shoot them in the head they may not have died to that bullet and then your next bullet because of recoil hits them in the body and thus you don't get a you don't get the headshot in this game because the headshot multiplier is so high that you know maybe that second or third bullet that hits them in the head that wouldn't have killed them in a previous call of duty will kill them in this one which will then count as a headshot so it's a little bit easier to get headshots in this game because of that um and i think you guys understand this so let's move on to the next thing the second method and this works really well for submachine guns especially things like the mp7 or the p90 uh hip firing smgs at close range is going to be really powerful in this game for getting headshots obviously again even when you're hip firing you should be aiming swinging towards the top of their body um and again this works in this game so well because the headshot multiplier is so high whereas you know in other games this might not work because now you're just missing shots but in this game uh the shots that you are hitting are hitting them in the head and that multiplier is really going to carry you to getting easier kills so this mainly works with submachine guns but you can try it with some of the fully automatic assault rifles or maybe lmgs probably not um you can try them uh you can try it with those weapons but primarily if you're going for the submachine guns try this method um along with some of the attachments that we're going to talk about later um and you can easily get some hip fire headshots without even really having to try too hard just by you know hip firing towards the upper body head area now of course you can adopt both methods you could adopt the slower gameplay aim for the head aim down sights method with the hip fire smg method um you can kind of do both and maximize the number of headshots that you're getting by adapting both play styles as far as the best game mode for headshots i'm gonna have to go with free for all and this has been my suggestion the past few years when it comes to getting headshots and this is no different for call of duty modern warfare the reason free for all is so good for headshots is because it limits the amount of 1v2 or 1v3 situations that you find yourself in in other game modes such as domination team deathmatch headquarters things like that now of course game modes like search and destroy do play a little bit slower than free for all which means you might be able to take your time a little bit better and get more headshots however there are no respawns in search and destroy um so with that being said free for all is still going to be my number one recommendation in terms of game modes strictly because like i said it's mostly going to be 1v1 gunfights and you can really control them if you're playing slower and uh, controlling a certain you know area of the map now the next thing and this is a big part of the video that's the attachments for your guns and this is probably one of the biggest things you guys are wondering when you clicked on this video um, is what attachments can help me with my headshots and you know the attachments vary a ton depending on which gun you're actually working with whether it's an assault rifle or an SMG or even different guns in the same class have some of the different uh, attachments for that specific weapon so obviously this is going to be you know this i can't give you specifics for every single gun um but i can tell you that if you look at the different attachments obviously it tells you what the pros and the cons are of that specific attachment anything that improves the recoil stabilization or the aiming stability are going to really really help you when it comes to getting headshots when you're aiming down sights so this is what i did with my m4a1 um, and that's the gun that i have the most headshots with and that's what i've been testing all of these uh all these tricks uh, and tips on uh, that gun specifically so when you're going through just go through every single category and attach the things that improve recoil stabilization and aiming stability this is going to prevent um, a little bit of idle sway it's going to prevent a little bit of recoil as well and it could even help you with a little bit of kick that you receive from getting shot at now we don't have any specific numbers or data as of yet for the attachments um, the game is still only a day or two old at this point so uh, we don't have too much data on the back end there but um, for my for my personal 
opinion and, and from me testing out the uh, the different tips that I'm giving you guys the attachments that improve those two specific things help you a ton when it comes to getting headshots while aiming down sights now of course you can also put on an optic I prefer the the first unlock the first reflex sight that's the one that I prefer for pretty much every single gun when it comes to getting headshots because um, it's just the most open um, there are some guns like the p90 that have a more um, a more wire frame red dot sight which definitely is a little bit better but you know for the most part the first red dot sight is the one that I prefer the most however if you like the iron sights then I would say go ahead and use them only because um, it a lot of the optics will actually reduce your aim down sight speed which is definitely a negative when it comes to getting headshots because you want to aim down sights as fast as possible snap onto their head as fast as possible um, and you know the optics might hinder you a little bit but again you know the dot is just so accurate and it helps me so much determine where my bullets are going that uh, I'm willing to make that trade-off but it's up to you guys if you guys are comfortable with the iron sights on the gun that you're currently working on definitely don't add an optic because again aim down sight speed is crucial so a couple of different attachments for assault rifles that can help you in this area are the commando foregrip the granulated grip tape the muzzle brake the reflex sight which we just talked about the m16 stock as well um, and you know if we're talking about some machine guns and the hip fire method just make sure you use the laser attachment and pretty much any other attachment that's going to increase your accuracy when hip firing so that's a specific thing that you can look for in the pros section so make sure that you do that now the final thing I want to talk about is your settings in game now a couple of things that I do um, I first I will turn off controller vibration because when I get into a gunfight the vibrating controller kind of is a little bit of a subconscious distraction on my hands uh, and it may cause me to have a little bit lower accuracy so I turn off controller vibration that's more of a personal preference but I know a lot of pro players do this as well um, another thing is aim assist there's a couple of different aim assists in modern warfare things that we've never seen in previous call of duties at least not to my knowledge um, so you can use the standard aim assist but there are a couple of other ones that are a little bit better if you're more accurate maybe you're better at snapping onto targets so I would actually uh, change that a little bit and mess around with the aim assist settings because you know if you're really good at snapping on their head it'll be stronger um, if you are more accurate with that initial snap so um, there's a few different settings like I said try those out um, if you're really accurate you might be able to change change the aim assist settings to something that helps you even more when it comes to um, getting headshots and finally you also may want to increase or decrease your sensitivity depending on uh, the gunfights that you are losing when it comes to aiming at the head so again at the beginning of the video I talked about um, being able to snap onto your target uh, and also aiming at the head as opposed to your enemy is going to be aiming at your body if you are finding that you're overshooting their head you're you're swinging trying to snap on and you're overshooting them um, and you're going past them that means that you're probably your sensitivity is probably too high for um for you know getting headshots you're just not gonna be able to focus on that specific the head is a much smaller point to focus on than just the body in general um so you might need to lower the sensitivity a little bit in those instances but if you're finding that people are catching you off guard a lot and you can't snap on them fast enough course then you want to increase your sensitivity and maybe that could help you a little bit as well and I know this may seem obvious but when we're talking about headshots you know the first thing that comes to mind probably isn't your sensitivity so I just wanted to throw this in right at the end uh, just so that way you guys you know kind of know that um, this is something that could help you a little bit now as a little bit of a bonus make sure you are running kill streaks that show you where the enemy is on the mini map um, the more information you have about where the enemies are the the more you can be prepared for them turning a corner or you know you can pre-fire a corner because you know that they're on on the way um, so that helps you out a ton also uh, party up with friends who are using UAVs um, because it's really going to help you the more people you have in the party that are working together getting those those UAVs and keeping one up at all times the more information you're gonna have and the more successful you're gonna be at again pre-firing pre-aiming corners and making sure you're getting those headshots if you guys want to find some people to play with you can comment down below um, your Activision uh, ID or your 
your PSN or Xbox Live ID down in the comment section below. If you guys want to play with each other or if you want to play with me, just go ahead and add everyone in the comments below and shoot them a friend request. Um, or you can join my Discord, which is actually in the links in the description, and you can play with me and we can, you know, find other people to play with and kind of party up together. I'm always accepting friend requests if you, you know, join there first and let me know, hey, let's play. Uh, and that would be awesome. That's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, again, make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video, subscribe, and ring that bell if you're new around here and you want to see more tips and trick videos for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. As always, all my social media links are in the description below. So make sure you follow me on there so that way you know the next time that I upload. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omni Arc. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.